Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got how to make a character selector. This video was recommended. Um, this video was recommended to me by I'm trying to think. Oh, yes, Arrow Boyle from my Discord server. So shout out to him for sure. Uh, what's it called? Pretty much, you guys know like in ABA and other games where like you have like multiple characters to choose from, and you choose kind of like a loadout, like a pre-save, I guess, or not a pre-save, like a I don't know. Like a loadout, you choose the character, and they have this certain amount of abilities and stuff like that. I'm making some general concept of that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First things first, of course, you're going to need a GUI. So let's insert a screen GUI into starter GUI, and let's call this uh, character selector GUI. And then we can insert a frame, and then we can move this to like the middle of our screen. Yeah, make it pretty wide. We don't have to do, yeah, we don't, you, you ain't gotta go too crazy with the uh, UI and stuff like that. I'm just making this just so it just looks nice for the video, but aside from that, you don't really have to do too much here. And then we call this character selector frame. And then uh, we can put a text label at the top and then it's, and then we can bold it, make the text scaled and which text and say, choose your character. Or no, just like one exclamation mark. Yeah, and make text like red. Uh, choose a random font. It doesn't matter. Yeah, some like some, yeah, some like comic comic book style, something like that. And then we're just make the color kind of like and yeah, kind of like a little darker. And there we go. Yeah, choose choose your character pretty much. And then we can call this just uh, I guess header text label. I guess. Or title text label, yeah. Title text label is better, but y'all call it whatever you want. Title text label, and then we're gonna insert three buttons. So text button one, text button two. Actually, no. Let's edit text button one, and then we'll just duplicate it and just change the color and the name. So yeah. So let's scale this, and then y'all can make it like about I guess this size. Something. I guess something like this. I guess something like this would be good. And you could call this uh class one text button y'all can name the classes whatever you want i'm just i'm just gonna call them class one two three i'm just gonna number them but yeah we'll call this uh yeah class one scale it and then we will give them all different colors so like we'll make this red make this red and black duplicate this by pressing ctrl d while having it selected and then we will call this um class two text button we will go down to the text and rename this to class two. Then we're just gonna change the colors. I guess we could, yeah, we could invert it, make it black and then red. Yeah, do something like that. Then once again, duplicate it again by having it selected and pressing Control and D, and then uh, move it here so they all fit. And yeah, there we go. And then same thing here. Class three. We're just gonna have three classes just for the sake of the video. Yeah. Then class three. And then for this, we will do like kind of like something a little different, like a gray and like dark red in a way. You know, like a gray and like kind of like a dark red. Yeah, something like that. Kind of, kind of differentiate between them. Yeah. There we go. We have all our text buttons and stuff like that set up. Okay. So we're also gonna put a value inside the character selector frame. We're gonna make it a string value, and we're, you're gonna call this class, right? We're gonna change this value to whatever class the player uh, selects. We could, you could also make it a num, yeah. You could also make it a number value. Yeah, you could also make it a number value. Uh, yeah, let's make a number value. Never mind. Let's do. Let's just do number value. It's easier. But yeah, just still name it class, right? And then you guys can insert a, I mean, y'all could really have the script inside of the GUI if you really wanted to, yeah. Yeah, you could really have it inside if I'm being honest. Yeah, mm, yeah, we'll put the script in. Yeah, we'll just put the script inside here. So the server script's here. Make sure there's a server script, guys. And then you guys can name the script, um, character selector script, I guess. Character selector script. And then, Delete for hello world as always, and then we can simply just do local character selector frame is equal to script dot parent, and then do 
for i comma v in pairs character select frames get children right do if v is a class i mean sorry if v is a text button because that's what we want we only want things that are text buttons so these three text button then v dot mouse button one click connect function in parentheses oh sorry not mouse button one click that activated i forgot we need to do it like this make sure you use activated but yes colon connect function close parentheses and enter and bam right so pretty much this actually makes our job easier instead of having to uh have three different scripts for each text button or i mean having one script for each text button or have one script that like has three different functions for each one instead we have one function that does the job for all all three text buttons so yeah so depending on whatever uh what's it called whichever one they click um and stuff we we can really um we can use an if statement or we can have a value inside text buttons. I guess we'll just use an if statement. So we can do if v dot name is equal to um, actually no, let's just have let's just have a value inside. Yeah, let's just have a value inside. We could duplicate the number of value or you could just insert it, right? Let's make three of them, put them on there, and then just just change the number. And then you could just you just call it class number. Yeah, class number. We name them all to class number and then just change the value to match the text button. So this will be one, this will be two, and this will be three, right? And then we are going to say if v dot, oh sorry, v dot class, this will not autoflow auto by the way, v dot class number dot value is equal to one. Make sure you do not do this. Because this is like, I know it looks the same, but this is not the same. This is a string one, not the number one. This is number one, right? Then you can do character selector frame dot class dot value is equal to one, right? And then from here, you guys could, uh, I guess we'll just say, hmm. Yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it like a part two if you guys want me to like have like specific things like where you receive like certain tools and stuff like that. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want something like that. Like if you receive specific tools and you like, yeah, and stuff like that. If you're, and like you have like a certain amount of health and all that stuff. If you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, I'll just do these. I'll just do this. And then we can say print uh, class one chosen, right? And then we'll just have else if statements. We'll just have an else if. And then all of this, else if is equal to two, change it to two, class two chosen. And then we can copy this again, control C, control V, and then three, three and three, right? And of course, the last thing we wanna do is of course disable the GUI. So regardless of whatever they click, you can just disable it. So we can do, V, I mean, not V, character selector frame dot character, I mean, dot parent dot enabled is equal to false. Mm. Actually, no, let's have this, let's have something outside. Yeah, yeah, let's have something outside, actually. Come down here and put it, put it here, just in case, just in case. But yeah, so we can go ahead and click play, test this real quick. If we choose, okay, let's choose, choose a character, class one. Um, I'm not sure why that did not work. Get children do if he is a text button. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't work. Um, hmm, let's see. I may have to change it and make it so it's like it's a server script. I mean, sorry, a client script. Like we have two different scripts. Might have to just do that to be honest. Um, for the get children curtis selector frame get children um if it's a text button text button then get it activated uh, it will still work regardless let me see something real quick print test okay if this doesn't work then i'll just change this to we'll just do server and client side okay all right so that does work okay so then, okay. 
So why doesn't it? It's weird. It's because I did activate it. Hmm. I'm not sure what's wrong. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, never mind then. I guess don't do. You know. I don't know. Yeah. I guess activate doesn't really work for here. I don't know. But anyway, uh, just change it to mouse button one click. If activated doesn't work for you, just do mouse button one click. It doesn't matter. Either or, they should do the same thing, but most people use mouse button one click. But anyway, choose a character, class one. Class one chosen, and boom, we have chosen class one. We can also go into our GUI and find it, and we will see class one, because that's the class we chose. So there we go. Now to make a um, character selector script, like I said, if you guys want like a part two where I go in more depth, we have like tools and a certain amount of health and like stats and all that for each class. Just drop some comments down below. Let me know you want a part two. Just let me know. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. And I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys.